I'm David Little, and um, this is a time of year that uh, you ever remember uh, what it's like going back to school after coming from summer vacation? It's kind of like that feeling you get when you walk underneath a row of birds on a telephone uh, line, and you're walking under, and, you, and you're looking up, and it's, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to get rained on. It was crap, you know. It was, it was, uh, I grew up, uh, my dad was in the Air Force, so we were always moving around, changing schools, and so I was always the guy that was on display. Class, class, we have a new, we have a new guy in school, his name is David Little. And I was very tall for my age, I grew up really quick. In elementary school, I'm about the same height I am right now. You ever have anybody make fun of your name? You know, and especially like corny stuff. My name is David Little, so I was tall for my age, and so I would hear these people thought they were being really original. They come up and they say, "You're not little, you're big," <laughs> and they just thought it was the funny. I go, "You know, I never heard that before. That's hilarious." You know, as a little kid, you just take your lumps. But um, second grade, you know, we were poor. We were poor. You come back and you don't have to do show and tell and talk about what you did over the summer. And some people are like, oh, I went to Europe and we went here. And we you know, I had a rock collection. You know, I collected rocks in the back of my yard. I told him, and it, was, it wasn't really rocks, it was like uh, concrete. But I told him it was fragments of a meteor. So they would go, ooh. So just exaggerate a little bit. So if you remember what it's like to be in second grade, Second grade, I'm going way back here. Elementary school, second grade. Second grade! We were, uh, we lived in Mount Holly, New Jersey. My dad was in the Air Force. And we moved, uh, yeah, Jersey in the house, okay. And we moved 3,000 miles away to Compton, California. And that was a little bit of a culture shock for me because I had an East Coast accent. I had an accent, I had a foreign accent, so I moved to the, from the East Coast to the West Coast, so I talked like, remember how Mike Tyson used to talk, really proper and really, you know, they would go, wow, you talk funny, you know, you talk really proper. So people want to, uh, they want to test you, they want to challenge you. So I had, uh, you know how bullies are, so I got tested, and I got tested, they wanted to test me, and uh, I defended myself, and uh, and I had to like stay in the house for like a couple of weeks because the guy that I actually hit back and defended myself, he had relatives, and uh, but they eventually got me. They got me back. Relatives. They got me back. Uh, I was. Uh, I realized I didn't like mashed potatoes as much as I used to because they got me and pinned me down and smashed the uh, rotten mashed potato in my face. You know. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of got me. But I didn't feel that bad because I felt, I, who I really felt sorry for, I felt sorry for this kid whose mom, his mom was a single mom and she was like a linebacker and she'd probably take about half of you guys here in the room, you know, she was here, she'd probably say, I have no fear, I had no man, I got no tephus. She was tough, she was really tough. She was so tough that she wanted to get her son hard. Her son was about 12 years old. And she wanted her son to be able to defend himself against the neighborhood bully, like I did, you know. And uh, so she said, if you don't beat him up, I'm going to beat you up. So you know what happened? They both beat him up. He got beat up by the neighborhood bully, and he went back home, and his mom beat him up. So go figure. I was glad I wasn't, yeah. Yeah, anyway, tough neighbor. So we, uh, so from second grade, uh, Compton, California, we moved to another neighborhood in uh, Los Angeles called uh, the Jungle. And it's kind of like, it, like if you saw Training Day, that was the neighborhood that Denzel got like shot up in the end and stuff like the ju the Jungle, Los Angeles. College. So we moved there, and I was in the fourth grade. In the fourth grade, and uh, there was this route that I would walk to school, and there was uh, these older kids that would grab the younger kids by the throat. Slap them, take their lunch money, everything. So I learned really quick back then to like walk on the opposite side of the street. And uh, I began to, uh, I mastered uh, an ancient art, an ancient art form, self defense form. It's called run. Run. People would be like, where did David go? David's gone. David's been gone. Okay, thank you for listening. You guys are a great audience. Love you. Thank you, Scott.